if you are a state employee, then of course you will belong to the government employees pension fund, the GEPF. So you make a contribution and your contribution will be 7.5% of your pensionable salary. And then of course your employer will make a contribution of 13%, almost double the contribution that you are making. Now, if you belong to the GEPF and you want to retire, then I would suggest that you stay with the GEPF because there are so many benefits. The first benefit that I think is important is that you will get a monthly salary until the day you die. Your salary will stay the same and of course it will just be inflation linked. So you will be getting a slight increase based on the inflation adjusted rate. Secondly, you can also receive a funeral benefit and that funeral benefit is paid out when you or your spouse um, is deceased. You get a funeral benefit of 15,000 rand per adult and 6,000 rand per child should an adult, the spouse or one of your children pass away. Then of course there is a child pension so should you die and you still have young children under the age of 22 then they will qualify for the child pension. What is also very important is the fact that you can qualify for continued medical a medical aid subsidy right so that medical aid subsidy comes from government you can apply for it so you can continue to receive your medical aid subsidy so if you should retire one day i'm saying just stick around with the gpf because you don't have to worry about working out your finances you know you're going to get your monthly pension and of course you can take advantage of the other perks Hope you enjoy that. Any further questions, just drop it for me and then I'll answer. And of course, I will put the GPF website so that you can go onto the website and go and find out for yourself because there is so much information. Thanks for asking the question.